A super common question that I get from clients is about their credit scores and the hard credit pulls. They often want to know, will this hurt their credit score? How many points, et cetera, et cetera. Today, let's talk about credit inquiries and how they affect our credit scores. My name is Miles Pitcher. I'm the owner of Superior Lending here in Utah. We love helping our clients get loan options and answer their questions that they have about mortgages. So the concern is how big of an effect does a hard credit pull have on your credit score? And there's a lot of myths around this. So let's, this is right from Experian.com on their page on questions and answers. And it, right at the top, it says inquiries have a small impact on credit scores. Generally, it has a under 10% impact. But let's look at it right here in this middle paragraph. It says, however, as long as those inquiries occurred within a certain period of time, usually 14 to 30 days, most credit scoring models will count them as one. In other words, what that means is that if a client is out shopping for a mortgage and they get multiple credit pulls within that 14 to 30 day period, it's on, only going to count as one. Continuing on there, and this is really cool. And by the way, this is from 2020. The new scoring systems from FICO and Vantage Score will omit the inquiries for mortgage applications. This means you can shop around for best rates and terms for your loan without being penalized. That's pretty awesome. So to our clients, this is a good thing. This is awesome. At worst case scenario, it, it only counts as one credit pull, as long as you're doing that within 14 to 30 days. I tell my clients, hey, 14 days is really what you want to shoot for as you're looking to have your credit pulled so that it doesn't hurt your score. Let me give you an example how I know that this is true. We often get clients coming to us from uh, local credit unions, banks that weren't happy with the quote they were given or they were turned down by the bank or credit union and we jump in and we pull their credit. In the conversation, I ask them, where were your credit scores with the that were pulled by the bank? And they'll tell me the exact number, 742. When I pull their credit just a week or two later, it comes in spot on at the 742. No lower score, no deduction from what happened before. So we know that this is true and we know it holds true. I get the question often also about how many points does a hard credit pull drop your score? Unfortunately, the numbers you hear out there are just guesses. People will say five to 10 points in your score. The fact of the matter is, the correct answer is it depends. Any drop in credit score from that hard credit inquiry is temporary. It doesn't stick on, on your score very long. And the truth of the matter is, yeah, it's probably in the ballpark of somewhere three to 10 points. Not a huge effect, but something to be aware of. Let's jump to our rate update. Again, this is an inverse chart. As the chart moves down, rates are going to move up. You can see that the trend has been rates getting worse. The last couple of days, we've had a slight improvement and that's been nice. We hope that continues improving, but we are still dealing with inflation issues. We're dealing with issues of the Federal Reserve having a lot of mortgage-backed securities or mortgages that they've purchased over the past several years that they are preparing to sell off of their balance sheet. This will hurt mortgages also. Continuing high inflation will hurt mortgages. Until we get inflation under control, mortgages are going to either get a little bit worse or stay in the range where they're at. Once inflation comes under control, rates will get better. Again, my name's Miles Pitcher, owner of Superior Lending. You can reach me at the number listed there, text me, email me, visit our website. We're always happy to answer questions and help out clients. Have a great week. We'll talk to you again next week.